wondering if Yellowstone is based on a true story? What inspired the writers to produce the Dutton family drama? Since part of the Yellowstone Season 5 was launched, viewers have been concerned about finding out whether this series is based on a true story. Fans have also been interested in learning about the Dutton family story, which some believe to be real. Read on to learn if Yellowstone is based on a true story and what inspired it. Yellowstone is a Western drama series about the Dutton family, which owns the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, the biggest in Montana. The drama series premiered in June 2018 and revolves around the Dutton family ranch bordering a national park, the Broken Rock Indian Reservation, and developers thirsting after a piece of the family's land. Yellowstone is centered on John Dutton III, a character played by Kevin Costner, a sixth-generation patriarch and widowed member of the Dutton family who owns and runs the ranch. He fights to protect it from those seeking to repossess his family's land for other developments that do not align with the interests of the family. The producer of Yellowstone, Taylor Sheridan, believes that the drama series has been a success with the audience, although critics have different views and reservations. He makes it clear that the series is for people who experience the life it portrays. The writer also states that the audience is expanding because many people love westerns. They provide entertainment and different perspectives about life in the West. People who resonate with the plot depicted in the drama series will certainly love it. Yellowstone flows through different genres, setting the stage for being campy, then becomes dramatic and violent. In short, it's a blend of the old western, new western, and soap opera. While it infuriates other people, it appeals to the interests of individuals who love storytelling. Yellowstone is a hit partly because its location is fantastic. It's acted in a wicked way and explores a world that is unknown to many people. It consists of powerhouse actors who put in an outstanding performance. The answer to the question, is Yellowstone based on a true story, is no, because Yellowstone is not based on real people or events that have happened in real life. However, Taylor Sheridan revealed in an interview with the Los Angeles Times in 2018 that the series explores issues that he's witnessed and problems that still exist in U.S. western mountain states. For instance, Yellowstone explores issues related to land development, oppression, resource mismanagement, extreme poverty, and racism and inequality. These challenges still exist in other parts of the U.S., and the consequences are dire, especially when they happen in small rural areas with relatively few people. Taylor also added that once construction companies start encroaching on landscapes of farms and ranches, the effects are more dramatic. He reiterated that the show is based on the gentrification that has occurred in the western states, a process in which wealthier people move to poor or less developed areas and begin to improve them by building new houses and launching other developments. While gentrification attracts new businesses and improves the overall appearance of the place, it often displaces the current or former inhabitants in the process. The creator of Yellowstone drama series has witnessed some of these changes in mountain states, such as Wyoming and Montana, where he stays. Gentrification mainly benefits wealthy people at the expense of the less privileged. When the place is developed, only the rich can afford the modern properties, and natives will be pushed off their land. In other words, the process creates inequality among people living in a certain area. The rich can use their influence to determine the state of affairs in a particular area, which will put other people at a disadvantage. The creator of the drama series places the white rancher in a position of Native Americans, which was different 100 plus years before the onset of gentrification. What is taking place now in the West puts the natives at a disadvantage. For example, once the land developers move in and make improvements, they often sell that fantasy to wealthy people. In most cases, the rich people who become the new occupants often come from affluent areas, such as Dallas, Los Angeles, New York, and Florida. As a result, the poorer natives end up landless because they cannot afford properties constructed on their indigenous land. When wealthy people buy pieces of land in the western states, they often use them for weekend getaways, and in the process, the way of life of the indigenous people is impacted. Land values and other aspects such as the inheritance tax are bound to increase, which will further affect the welfare and lifestyle of the people living in the gentrified places. Sheridan reveals in an interview with CBS News in 2022 that Yellowstone derived its inspiration from his experience as a rancher. Most of the horses used in the filming of the drama series are his. He said that the horses are not very safe, and this is why the actors are not always riding them. The horses were specifically bought for the drama series, and the creator taught the actors how to ride them. So neither are the Duttons a real family. 
According to the equestrian website Horsey Hoovers, the family's patriarch John Dutton could have been inspired by famous ranchers such as Bill Galt and W.T. Wagner. The latter owned the 525,000-acre Wagner Ranch in North Texas, which was founded in 1849, was one of the largest ranches in the U.S., and was passed down through several generations. The Wagner family owned the ranch until 2015, when it was sold to businessman Stan Kroenke for $725 million. Bill Galt is the owner of the 248,000-acre ranch in Montana, the same ranch where Yellowstone is set. Horsey Hoover said Galt is also known as the last American cowboy. Cowboy life is still common in North Texas, although it's facing some challenges from gentrification. As a result, Yellowstone sought to portray a Western life unknown to many people. The drama series draws its audience from people who loved what they perceived as the cowboy lifestyle, since the practice is no longer widespread across the U.S. Although Yellowstone is not based on a true story, the ranch where the drama series takes place is real. Chief Joseph Ranch is found in Derby, Montana, and consists of several cabins used by guests as accommodations when they visit. Several have appeared in the show. The key area that appears in the drama series include Rip's Cabin, also called the Ben Cook Cabin in real life, the Armory, the Trapper Cabin, and Lee's Cabin, also called the Fisherman Cabin. Shane LaBelle and his family own Chief Joseph Ranch. When the property was chosen as the filming location for Yellowstone, the LaBelle family and the filmmakers signed a five-season contract. Apart from the 5,000-square-foot area of mansion and cabins, other film locations include the Armory, Barnes, Arena, and Corrals. When not being used for film production, the cabins around the home are available for rental for a minimum of three nights. Guests are treated to a memorable Yellowstone experience. In Yellowstone Season 5, Texas 4 Sixes Ranch featured is a real ranch, and it will be the filming venue for Yellowstone's upcoming spinoff of the 6666 show. The 350,000-acre 6666 Ranch has a rich history, as it was founded in the 19th century when West Texas was still ruled by Comanches. The 6666 Ranch is real and still functioning as it has over the last two centuries, encompassing the history of the country. At this ranch, the laws of nature and the rule of law merge in a typical fashion where some of the most dangerous events take place. The 6666 is a place where world-class cowboys are made and is synonymous with an attempt to raise the finest livestock and horses in the world, still produce high-quality quarter horses and Angus cattle. Many viewers often wonder if there will be a Yellowstone season six. However, the good news is that one of the actors, Cole Hauser, who plays Rip Wheeler, confirmed in November 2022 that there will be one more season, saying there's a lot of work going on to fully utilize the talent to fulfill the needs of the audience. According to the executive producer Taylor Sheridan, Yellowstone comprises a diverse crew concerned with producing the best result. However, he confirmed in 2021 to the New York Times that he doesn't want Yellowstone to run for nine seasons, so has actually already written the ending. Taking too long without preparing the end can lead to stagnation of the show. So he's still confident that the show won't run out of steam as it nears the end. So season six could well be the final Yellowstone is not based on real life or fiction, but on world events. The creator has hinted that there has to be movement and evolution towards the conclusion. Sheridan has already decided on the ending of Yellowstone, but doesn't want to limit his creativity. More importantly, the creator has also expressed his connection to the sparseness of the West, since this is where he spent most of his lifetime. Sheridan lived in New York briefly and enjoyed his stay, but clearly states that he cannot write about this place. Instead, he's fascinated by outdoor events, which motivated him to write Yellowstone, saying that the outdoor world helps him get a clear picture of the vastness of the U.S., Sheridan says that the life in New York is different from living in Western states, which still have many places in their natural state. It's easier for him to observe the things that happen in these open places than in built-up areas, such as cities. Although Sheridan's hinted that Yellowstone will come to an end, he hasn't ruled out the possibility of future episodes based on unfolding events. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.